Hello and welcome to Under the Hood with Logic IO. This is a live demo series where our team shows real-time examples of our product, the Commerce Logic Engine, a next generation product configurator. Throughout this series, we'll show the use of different use cases, industries, and user experiences. Today, we're gonna to be showing you advanced product configuration for e-commerce and how we help empower your customers to take control of their purchasing power with online assisted product discovery, configuration, and recommendations. I'd like to introduce myself as well as my fellow demo mates. My name is Emma Gakewood. I am the Director of Demand Generation here at Logic.io, and I am lucky enough to work closely with Cameron McKell, our Director of Sales Engineering, and your demo guide for today. We're also shadowed by Stephen Metz. He's the head of Salesforce practice at one of our premier system implementation partners, Zaylab. The Zaylab team supported the creation of the demo we'll be sharing today and bringing the logic experience to life. So thank you, Stephen and Zaylab. Just to give a little stage setting for today, I'll give a brief overview of how logic io views b2b buying and what we're solving for within the market i'll hand it over to cameron for the live demo and then we'll wrap up by answering some of your questions a few housekeeping items before we jump in this demo is recorded and will be available on our site as well as sent to your inbox within 24 hours of this presentation. I know some of you were asking me that. So yes, available uh, after the fact. We're also welcoming questions and comments, part of the point of this series. So please feel free to place your questions into the comment or the Q&A box. We'll have some time to answer some live at the end. If we run out of time or we want a little bit more nuance behind your answer, we'll email you post live. Let's jump in. B2B buying has rapidly evolved, giving buyers the power. Buyers now expect to be served perfect fit solutions with guidance from you and your team, and they want to be able to shop anywhere at any time. At Logic, we liken this to shopping at Amazon or Apple, which most of us have experienced as consumers. If Amazon took five to 10 seconds to load your search, we'd probably go elsewhere. Instead, Amazon immediately offers you up products and solutions that match your search result. They also offer other options um, and upsells. And then you can also see your cart load as you shop. Being able to offer this type of experience to everyone from your consumers to internal sales reps to distributors is becoming the norm. At Logic, we're able to meet those buyer expectations and help you connect them to your products and services faster and more accurately than ever. We do this through a few different ways. First, offering assisted product discovery and good, better, best solution matching when someone puts in a search query. We're also able to provide marketplace search matching. Configuration is what we were born from. It's our bread and butter. We offer product solution and deal structure configuration, as well as compatibility control for your customers. Then my favorite is our ability to recommend. So offering product recommendations and cart enrichment options for your buyers. And then also this creates a great channel for cross, cross sells and upsells smoothly to your clients as they shop. Now to take a high level look at today's demo, we'll be looking at Rough House, which is a dog shed product. You'll see Cameron be able to configure and manipulate her own personal dog shed or whatever pet you may have. Um, also, my cat may disturb us during this. So you'll see her be able to hit a couple of a couple, couple of these different challenges. You'll see her configure and self-serve her own product. Also be able to pull up a CAD drawing immediately and download, which decreases the manufacturing time. My favorite portion of this as a marketer is the ability to capture leads as they come into your product and configure. So you'll see them enter your system as a lead as they're configuring on your site and then be able to see if they need any support from your team or what they're building. 
Additionally, you can launch new products faster with Logic, be able to see them go to market and reap those benefits sooner rather than later. And lastly, deploying configurations to big box retailers and e-commerce self-service. I will now hand it over to Cameron so she can share you the live demo. Cam, take it away. Awesome, thank you so much, Emma. So as Emma mentioned, we are going to do a demo today that is a version of a customer's challenges that we work with. And so this example is going to be what we call rough shed. So I will be building out a dog shed that's available for my personal pet named Pippa. So to get started, I can see right in front of me that I've got different navigation tools to help me move through the different selections and options that are available to me. So with Logic IO, we allow your customers to seamlessly and intuitively move through your product configuration and solution configuration. But there's a lot more that we can do as well. I'll first draw your attention to our pricing up here in the right corner. So as I go through and make different selections for my personal rough shed, you're gonna see that pricing update. Now, right now we have one already set where I can easily jump in and I can see all of the different sales items that I'm going to be purchasing. I call out specifically sales items because we'll talk about Logic's bill of material generation in a few minutes. But first, I'm going to draw your attention to our line item for our actual rough house. That's at about $1,700. I draw your eyes to this because this is being driven by where we're actually located. So based off of my zip code, this is going to add in multipliers onto that specific line item and update and change it. So keep your eyes on our cart right there. And as I make an update, you'll see automatically our price has dropped. And I can see now what was about 1700 is now more around 1415. And if I come and say, I actually want to send this to my home city, Austin, Texas, again, you'll see that multiplier update with that pricing input. So as we're going through, it's not just a lot about the options on the actual product that we're selecting, but really any business rules that you need to support, Logic is able to do. And that can include updating things like your pricing as well. Now. Let's get started with moving through our building of our rough shed. So right now I've got my default settings of my width and length. This could be as many options as you choose. These could also be completely custom options. That's the variability that Logic allows for. Now, as I update my width, you'll see that this is automatically going to update my visualization as well. And I can take a look see my length change in real time as well. So anything that I'm selecting that needs to impact my visualization, Logic can seamlessly have that update occur. So as users are going through, they're able to see what's the pricing impact, what's the product impact as they move through. Now, in this case, we're looking at Logic in a headless manner. So that means you can make this look and feel however you choose to. I can see my different options for my paint. And just like my dimensions, this is gonna automatically update for me as well, making it very easy to move through this process. And of course, any of my ancillary items, like where I want my windows to be located. Do I want them to have shutters on those? Do I even want windows at all? Very easy for me to make updates, see this change in real time. And then of course, if anything needs to impact my pricing, like updating my length and width, all of that's gonna automatically update for me in a very easy to use manner. Now, as I come into my roofing material, you'll notice that as I change between my different options, my colors are going to automatically update as well. 
So this is where utilizing logic to ensure that your users are only seeing valid options available to them. So they can easily get their sale done properly the first time through utilizing the rules that you have set out. So you can utilize this for the options on a product, add on accessories, additional services, really the choice is yours. With Logic, we provide you that flexibility. We also can include additional visualization aspects where we can hide things like the roof. If I want to take a look at my full interior, I can do that as well and even remove my exterior. So again, making this a very intuitive experience for the customers. And of course, any sort of personalization that can be included, I had mentioned you could have made the dimensions custom, but really you could make anything custom within here. And I can see that automatically has updated for my dog Pippa, but we don't stop there. We have now built out our shed. I've got my sales items as a customer. I know this is what I'm purchasing, but most importantly, what is the data that you need in order to actually fulfill, provision, manufacture, whatever it may be, the items that you're selling? That's where Logic's bill of material generation comes into play. We'll actually let you create as many bills of material as you want to with only the sales one being exposed to your customers or potentially your partners or internal sellers. So if I want to take a look at this production bomb and actually export that out to Excel, I can see now a very different look and feel than what was the sales items. This is actually giving me all of the different options that are going to go on each of the different walls, what dimensional descriptions they may have, units of measure, cost, et cetera. So this is a manufacturing centric bill of materials, but this could be anything that is needed in order to actually fulfill and put this order through the entire process. We also have the ability to drill in deeper into the specifics. And Emma mentioned the ability to pull out and generate the CAD models directly from here. So I can see my dimensions, my 10 feet by my 12 feet. But if I want to take a look at the various drawings that are available, like my sidewalls specifically, I can hop through, look through the specific details. If I want to look at the end walls as well. So again, very easy to use, very seamless from this manner. And of course, if I need to export any of this out to a PDF, I've got the ability to push that data directly into documents, CADs, et cetera. Now that I've completed with my shed that I'm going to now personally purchase for my dog Pippa, there's a couple of different ways that we typically see these sales rounded out. Now, if I was checking out directly from my cart, I could just enter credit card information online if I wanted to. Or as Emma mentioned, in this example, we're actually going to utilize this as a lead generation tool. So I have some basic information for me to fill out. Now, all of these details are what you would be looking for to send through into potentially your CRM, your partner portal, whatever it may be, you'll notice that some of the items like my zip code have automatically populated for me based off of what I inputted within the configuration. So I can quickly and easily pull all of this data forward. And let's begin to start filling this out. So entering in whatever specific data is needed in order to generate the lead within your system. And then we'll be able to seamlessly send this through into our actual CRM and internal quoting application. 
and I'll add a little note to let them know exactly who this is for and what we're looking at today. And once I hit confirm, we're gonna go ahead and see this actually be created internally within the internal voting application. But before I do that, just wanna highlight what we walked through today, being able to go to a specific product, make any options and choices that I need to with logic driving the experience the entire time, ensuring that I didn't have any errors along the way, I wasn't able to select anything that couldn't be sold or validated together and making sure I can quickly move through this experience and be able to provide that tangible data to the company selling me this shed. So now that I pick confirm, I can take a look at my internal quoting application and I can see here that automatically a quote has been created for me where I can hop in and take a look at all of the available options within my actual quote. And so I can see my quote lines that came back over, all of the data that's available to me, very easy and seamless to use. Any questions on how you can utilize logic to do your process configuration or your lead generation.